All right, Kevin, thanks. Tonight, the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food is facing criticism. A new state audit found several instances of improper behavior, undisclosed conflicts of interest, and concerns over the cannabis program. New specialist Matt Rascone spoke to the state auditor tonight, and he is live. Matt? Yeah, that's right, Dini. The audit covers from April 2019 to June this year, and it includes things like, like the uh, former commissioner's personal trips in a state vehicle and what the report describes as weaknesses in the department that helped lead to rule breaking and misusing public funds. So back in January, we started getting some uh, whistleblower complaints. Undisclosed conflicts, personal trips, and improper reimbursements at the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food, or UDAF. The state is not afraid to look at itself to identify weaknesses and areas for improvement. John Dougal is a state auditor. His office launched an investigation in June, more than six months later. Yes, we found some concerns, but the agency is looking to say, how do they strengthen their operations? You don't find names in the report. Because our audit is of an organization and not the individuals. But plenty of references to the former commissioner of UDAF, Carrie Gibson. The audit shows Gibson's state vehicle visited Bear Lake in Las Vegas. It shows he and others improperly upgraded hotels and flights and submitted duplicate reimbursements. The current commissioner says Gibson and others he hired engaged in certain activities that violated state and departmental policies and resulted in an environment that did not accurately reflect its values and mission. We didn't look at every program within the agency. But they did look at a now former employee's connection to a company that was applying for a cannabis grower license. Clearly there was concerns about possible uh, uh, cooperation among certain participants on that committee and uh, lack of disclosure of possible conflicts of interest. UDAF said it takes the issues raised in the report seriously. The department is committed to moving forward expeditiously to improve internal policies and procedures in carrying out its mission to support agriculture, food safety, and to support producers throughout the state. And the state auditor says they'll circle back with the department in about a year to see what changes they've made. Tonight, of course, we only covered a piece of what's in that report. You can find the full audit in our story uh, on KSLTV.com. Guys. All right, Matt, thank you.